Hey guys, it's Dr. Bacon, and we are making a way, way overdue episode for Dabcat. This is Karen, and Howdy. she's visiting us uh, today, this morning, and she brought over a couple of her plantlers that she's decorated, and she's going to tell us about them and kind of walk us through the histories. Why don't you start with the super cropped one over here? <laughs> so I saw this in John's garage so to speak where he does his plants and stuff and it was bare and I thought to myself if he had it in there sideways like this my first thought was is how awesome would that be if it looked like fire and and but and so I asked him if I could have it and he said I could and so I brought it home and I thought you know I can't really make it go sideways like that because it doesn't work for what I need it for which is to hang earrings on so I turned it this way and painted it with nail polish because nail polish is what I use. I used to do nails and the crafts that I do, I use nail polish. So all the different colors are different colors of nail polish. And then I, because I needed to hang stuff, I have these cool pieces of abalone that were left over from some artwork my mother did. And I didn't want to use glue because it's abalone, so I have little embroidery thread that I wrap around, around and around and around. And um, if, you know, you could probably pull it out if you really tried hard. And so there's those, they're around. And I use the cuts, so if he doesn't cut it all the way down, he cuts it where there's a piece left wrap them so they're sturdy to hold the earrings and these are all you know, or bracelets you know you could put many 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 so things. this is nail polish so did you prep this with paint before you you know i didn't okay <laughs> cool all right yeah. i didn't this is one of our super cropped plants where we for very forcibly bent it young on and tied this side tied the base to the opposite side of the pot as to not uproot it and then tied it down on this side and made it grow around a pot. I just love it. <laughs> that one came out great. So that was the first one that I did with John. I had made one before when I was growing out in Riverside. I was growing outside and I had large plants. And when it was done, it looked like a Christmas tree after I'd cut all the buds off of it. And it's probably three to four feet. And I painted it green and blue with green and blue nail polish and sparkles all over it. And that was the first one I ever made. And I has the name on it, Robert Plant. So Nice. <laughs> Robert Plant. Yeah, you know, I love Robert Plant. <laughs> so I have to have it in every aspect of, as, aspect of my life. Cool. And so it has a base. And again, it would be quite large. And then from there, I got seeing all of these that John was providing <laughs> and even little ones. Now this one, John, oh, this no is the, one of the plants that you gave me. Oh, okay. <laughs> and because I stuck it in my backyard and I don't really have adequate sun. Yeah. And it, it <laughs> awesome. Stuck with the, the little block. It never came, the, the roots never really came through the block. And so, but it was good. And I thought, oh, that's cool. Cause it's little and it's perfect for earrings. And because I have to carry this stuff to different events, the bigger ones are harder to carry. And you can see, you can put a lot on there. And it's done the same way as this one. Okay, and so on this one, you've tied on these little peace, these little peace signs. Yes. You, and you've used the... Embroidery so, uh, thread. Uh, embroidery thread. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. And that's yeah. a little thicker, so you don't have to go around like quite as many times. Uh, cool. yeah, I mean, this was the first one I did that way, so it was like the learning curve. And because they're going to hang stuff, they have to be adequately... Yeah, I like this. So this one, you're not using the hooks. You're, you've added... Uh, I added the P-sides because it was yeah, easier yep. to hang... In your earrings, and that makes where, it really where would nice I hang display, them on? too. No, I get it, I get it. So, um, I, like I have it. done more. I've taken cup hooks, and I've screwed the cup hooks in and painted them with nail polish and used them to hang this stuff on. Mm -hmm. But that's a little bit more work. And as thin as this one is, you can't do anything to the wood or it's going to break. Yeah. 
And, and then, a couple of these have broken off, so it's I painted it with spray paint, I think. And then this one here, this one, I really like the striations on this. Okay, I painted those on. Okay, I like it With them. a felt pen. Well, it looks cool. So I, I did a real it's quick... It's believable. Kind of a wash, it's a, a, a light green wash with acrylic paint mm. and then mm. because the they're well, dry they you, suck the life out of the color you have a good eye for that because i like the way that came out yeah that looks good well you know what it had its it, it had that so i kind of just followed what was on there you weren't if i had left it alone you wouldn't have been able to see it yeah but it had it and i liked it so i thought you know it was super easy to do with the felt pen and then you just jammed the bottom oh i like this too and the roots the are whole roots in are there. in there yeah yeah and, and that's so that's something i've been this one. Look, here's what. Let me explain what happened here. Okay. Um, I take these two events with the earrings on them, and someone said, "Can I help you?" And I said, "Yeah, sure." And she picked it up from here, and, and the, a whole bottom and everything came out. Oh, okay. So this is glued. Oh, okay. So you can pick it up. It made it a lot heavier, so, but you know. So when you were this done. This one isn't. Okay. This one's. Yeah. But it has the roots too. Yeah. Though I don't think this one came with a huge root system. But you have stones in there. No, it's a green. Uh, oh, I see. It's one of those chunks of foam. It's a yeah. Okay. And then this one is glued. Okay. Because gluing so works. What do you do? How are you just pouring? You just putting everything in place and then pouring glue over it? Yeah. What kind of glue? Uh, I think I just used white glue. Oh, okay. And. You know, it has to have a lot. You have to do it a few times with, with one this heavy. Yeah. But these no, that's smart. are just leftover seed beads. Huh. It goes all the way down, and I thought it looked cool. I bet that was just like, ah. It was like, <laughs> like I, all the balls came out. I do a lot of beading, but I can't even see those seed beads anymore. Yeah. I can't hold them. I, I, I can't do that. So I thought, I'm going to get rid of them. Can you see them? Uh-huh. So that one's full of seed beads, uh -huh. and I just used all the different ones that I wanted to get rid of. And then I did the same thing. I just dumped the glue in there until it got hard. And that way it's... Because believe me, all of these have fallen over in the car. Yeah, okay. Many, many, many times. Yeah, that's a good call. And this one here broke. See how I glued it back on and uh -huh. I wrapped it. It really needs more glue or cut it off. But I kind of like where it was. And then on this one here, and this is what we're going to... Well, you know what? We don't have to. But I had to add these. So all of these are added. See them? Yeah. How they're bent, and that's why I brought pipe cleaners this time, because it's easy, fast. Uh-huh. It would take us forever. This is a two- or three-day project, wrapping this with uh -huh. the, the uh, embroidery thread. Okay. All right, let's take a little break, and uh, we're going to we're gonna decorate this one. This is a recent okay. plant out of the 2x2. Two two. We're back. So it looks like Karen brought me some, some pretty fancy-looking pipe cleaners um where'd you get these like the dollar store yeah okay some I dollar mean, store pipe cleaners and she's asking me what i want to do with this well i don't really know i like the idea of making it stand and uh, sticking it in a stand mm -hmm. so i would have to get myself probably a dollar store bowl and do you get those beads at the dollar store too they do the dollar tree okay so we'll get some beads so we'll do that and then what what are my they next have the green mold what are my too. next steps i'm going to do this on uh okay so the next offline step. a little bit here but what what am i and she you need wanted to decide what color she you asked want. me to take the flowers off but i kind of like the flowers so <laughs> we're going to leave them on there just to be different for okay. now but what and so okay so can i say what i when i look at this what yep. i see okay tell me what you what i'm going to deal with I would have cut all of these little ones. I'm not like adverse. Those. I'm not adverse to that. So okay. let's do a little cleanup. But these, you can't do anything with these. They're going to break off. These little teeny thin ones. Yeah, so lose them. That was your saying? Look, yeah, or you can just go through with, you know. But you want to pick the ones that you're going to wrap. Okay, which are like these that like have yeah, a little Yeah, to make them look them. cool, but it's thicker. And okay. even, I mean, they still have some bend. They can yeah. break. So we're going to wrap. It's got too many. Well, so the first thing I would do is I would go through and I'd get rid of all the little flimsy ones that just... Okay, shall we get a little clippers and do that? Yeah. All right. The roots 
up with some foil because it was kind of making a mess. And, um, and then we, uh, or rather Karen, went through with just a, a dykes. Uh, we used a, a wire clipper. And she cut these a little shorter so they're not quite so fragile. And we're going with some, I don't know, are these New Orleans colors? What are these colors? They're Trojan colors. Trojan colors. So I guess we're going with the USC. <laughs> we're USC, making a USC theme. Well, uh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to not do. I'm going to do clumps of color because the green looks too cool okay. to, to cover up. Okay. So see how I made that a, a, a solid? Yes. And then there's going to be solid green in between. Okay. And then the next one's going to be gold. And we'll do it like right here. And because we don't need to make hangers, because as we were cutting off the excess, we cut some of them so that whatever you're hanging, mm -hmm. you're hanging jewelry, mm -hmm. you can hang it right off the little hooks. hooks that are left from the way you cut it. Nice. Oh, I like the way you go back down on that. Yeah, trying to make, make it stronger. Do like a ball, yep. more of a, than just like. A, and then I was also like thinking, if you really want to make that strong, you're gonna take white glue, and you're just gonna put a little bit of white glue over this piece right here. Mm -hmm. And really, if a person really wants to make this awesome, you're gonna get nail polish and you're gonna color it with like blue and green color, you know, variation of color so that it sparkles and then at the end you're going to hit it with a sparkle nail polish that has sparkle and then if you're into sparkle but if you're a dude like john you're going to make it you know hmm. these kind of colors okay. and leave it muted all right i'm a woman so i go for sparkle okay okay all right this is wrapping up really nicely <laughs> nice play on words there Put wrapping little, put a little hook on it for me at the top there so um hey thanks karen thanks a lot for coming and helping out and showing, no us, showing us how to decorate plantlers like and subscribe guys see you really soon bye bye okay we're gonna run over to the dollar store in el nino and um see if we can't find something to finish this project off and I'd, I'd kind of like to put it on the wall. We've got this guy, a nice ornament for Christmas from a local artist, really cool fired clay. And then we have this guy right here too. So maybe we will um, dig into, I might stop by the electronics place and see about getting a set up. I have some of the, more of this EL wire I want to put in my van. Want to be on the weed map? Let us know. We were just talking to Bloodhound. He's in England and uh, he was one of our early additions. Rainbow Tie Dyes. See our friend Quinn if you're interested. You can find her on Instagram at Liquid Rainbow Tie Dyes. They make some awesome stuff. We just had our carpets cleaned and we asked them to do the upholstery. It looks, came out pretty good. It's not perfect, but there's a lot of miles on this van. 369,000 miles.
this morning, this place opened at 7 a.m. and is open till 11 p.m. at night. That's crazy. Well, we literally combed every corner of the store <laughs> to find where we're now in the corner of the store. And we found some beads. So we'll get a couple of bags of beads. And we found this container. That'll be cool. I think we'll just, I have a uh, acrylic drill. We'll just drill a single hole in it and we'll just hang it on the wall on a screw. It'll be great. And uh, we found a $2 unicorn light. I think we'll put that in the room. I think you pass up on that. It's battery operated, but we got a grip of DC converters, so we'll, uh, we'll repower it. <laughs> we made it home. We drilled a hole in this already with my only size acrylic drill. And maybe go like, I wanted to kind of hug the wall. So we're gonna go with that and uh, I've got some tacky glue I've had forever. So we're just gonna drizzle that into the box, hang it on this nail I put on the wall and then um, maybe affix this to the fence so it dries at a angle where it's kind of close to the wall once we hang it up inside. A little pooling in the bottom, but I really like it and I think there's going to be plenty of adhesive. We're kind of making a, a nice plane here so we can hang it against the wall and not have it touch the corner. So I really like this. We'll check back when it's on the wall. How cool. Thanks, Karen. Really cool. Waking with Dr. Bacon. All day with Dr. Bacon. Dr.